Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Week ahead, Lbach, Inflation and Jobless Claims. Http ntv4x.com News ID 117 B2D 7 20 2020 2012 46 1 AM. The markets continue to grapple with the immediate effects of the coronavirus. The second wave in pockets of the world has forced cities to take active measures to control the virus. Melbourne, Australia has gone into a secondary lockdown while Florida and Los Angeles see cases surge, with the mayor of Los Angeles stating that the city is on the brink and a Democratic representative from Florida reports the outbreak is totally out of control. Here is your week ahead. Monday, July 20 People's Bank of China Interest Rate Decision Lbok S Interest Rate China S Central Bank the People's Bank of China has been wary of cutting interest rates, even during the peak of the pandemic. Ma Jun, a PBOC advisor, stated in early April, the PBOC doesn't use its bullets all at once. China has plenty of room in monetary policy. The PBOC has kept interest rates at 3.85%, after dropping it 30 basis points from 4.05% in April. However, Forecasts and estimates expect the Lbok to keep rates as is at 3.85%. Tuesday, July 21st Inflation Rate Yowai Bank of Japan With 660 new cases of the coronavirus yesterday, Japan has struggled to keep ahead of the virus after the world praised it for its lighter approach to restrictions. However, that approach, as seen similarly from Australia, has not bode well for the country. Japan has seen triple-digit daily increases for the whole month of July. This has caused consumption and spending to decrease dramatically. Analysts predict an inflation rate of 0.1% however, there is a high chance that this may be pushed to the downside, which may put downward pressure on the JPY. Tuesday, July 21st Reserve Bank of Australia Minutes Australia is continuing to grapple with the effects of the coronavirus with Melbourne being put back into lockdown and the state of Victoria imposing mandatory mask restrictions. With RBA minutes earlier in the year having a tone of optimism, likely, that tone will not continue here. The second lockdown is a massive blow to the country, socially and economically. The trans-Tasman bubble between New Zealand and Australia has been delayed, with economic activity in the state of Victoria plummeting. We may see Aussie weakness against its New Zealand counterpart as Australia reels back their reopening. Thursday, July 21st Canada Consumer Price Index CPI Canada continues to post double-digit daily coronavirus cases as they, too, implemented a looser lockdown restriction like Japan and Australia. We saw a drop in the CPI from March to April as citizens decreased their spending. We saw a slight increase in the month of May, however. Analysts expect to stabilize around 137 for the month of June. Thursday, July 23, U.S. Initial Jobless Claims U.S. Initial Jobless Claims Source Bloomberg With initial jobless claims posting the smallest decline since March last week, the U.S. jobs market is showing a slight rebound. However, we are all aware of the current situation with the coronavirus cases in the U.S. Florida and Los Angeles are posting daily record numbers every week, while President Donald Trump focuses on reopening the economy and the U.S.-China trade deals. I expect this number to slowly creep up as the full effects the second wave of the coronavirus becomes evident. Analysts predict jobless claims to drop to 1.29 M from 1.3 M previously. We have seen this mindset in the market, which discounts negative news and rallies on positive news. This is partially due to liquidity propping up many markets. Investors and traders must take this into account when placing trades. Trade safe. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.